How you doing guys? It's Grizz. Told you I'd uh, get a video up here on this 35 Morgan. Uh, so let me uh, turn this camera around and we'll, we'll get you set up so you can see what's going on. Alright, so here's that 35 Morgan. Um, let's see if I can get this in here. Here's the uh, box art. And uh, as you can see it's... Uh, well, maybe you can't see. Um, there we go. It's a mini craft, mini craft model kit. Um, I bought this because it's an oddball, and as I've said before, I kind of like to build the oddballs. Um, it doesn't say on the box here. I, if I remember right in the instructions, it said this was a 1 16th scale. Um, but basically, I bought this kit because I like the oddballs. I like building things that are uh, out of the norm, if you will. And uh, I got it home, and I opened it up. And the first thing I got was a little frustrated. And the reason I got frustrated was immediately looking at the molding points and where things were con connected to the sprue, especially on the chrome tree. Um, I knew I was in for a task just on the chrome parts alone. So we'll start with that. Uh, here on the side of the car, this exhaust piece and... This exhaust piece are two separate parts. They're chrome plated and the mold line ran right down the side here, which, you know, mold lines are mold lines. What kind of bothered me was the sprue, where they were this connected to the sprue was here, here right dead center and up here and then there were two points back here on these two mounting brackets and it kind of bothered me based on the fact of knowing what I know about injection molding and looking at the sprue the way they had it laid out they could have just as easily came off the end of the exhaust on both ends here and made a really nice piece that didn't have a lot of a lot of work that had to go to them because it's not like you could just gently sand that little spot down and then touch it up with a little bit of chrome paint and it would look just as good it would stand out like a sore thumb my second issue with it was when I finished putting the engine in their exhaust manifolds do not come back to the exhaust system so I had to make some little fittings here to adapt to take up that gap and I would blame it on motor placement had the gap been the same but the gaps not the same and as you can see the engine is straight in the car oh wait a minute no you can't there you go the engine is straight in the car so it's not a matter I had it cocked off to one side or the other ah uh, the chrome itself on this kit, although out of the box, looks sharp, really sharp. Um, here on the hood, these three caps, these two headlights, and these two pushrod covers are the only chrome other than the hubcaps here that I managed to actually salvage. Oh no, excuse me this piece here to this one here was fixed because it was broke right on the sprue um, it scratches so easily just just bumping it with something was enough to scratch it so I ended up stripping it and I decided just to paint the engine cowling or the radiator cowling the same color as the car um, here's the key points that frustrated me right out of the box this glass let me see if I can get this up here a little closer keep it in focus this glass is as clean 
and clear as it was ever going to get. That's four hours of wet sanding and polishing with Novus. And unfortunately, my lighting is bad, or you'd probably be able to see it. There are streaks that run up and down, up and down this windshield that are actually all the way through the the clear plastic. There's there's no way to fix it unless I were to cut out some butyrate or um, some other form of clear plastic and make new windshields and I just wasn't willing to go through all that with this. Uh, by the time I had gotten to the glass I had seen enough of it and dealt with enough of it I was just get it done get it out of here. The engine comes all chrome you're gonna have to dechrome it the engine is uh, let's see two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen pieces just for the engine and the jugs are halved the uh, block is halved the fit is horrible on the engine the rest of the car, the fit itself, I would have to say, was awesome. The engine is the, is the fit issue. And the way this goes together and the way the instructions show, sliding it back onto these, these two, uh, whoop, sliding it back onto these two frame rails here, and the fact that the engine mounts don't fit the frame rails, you have to drill them out drastically to get them to fit the frame rails. Um... You have to spread the frame rails to make them fit because there's little pins on this block that the engine mounts go on. And once you get them on the pin, it doesn't fit here. It leads me to believe that this portion of the car, the main portion of the car, was designed and, and molded by one guy. And this was a different mold, a different artist that put that together for them. And nobody test fit anything because this engine does not fit out of the box. It took. A couple of days of tweaking and, and re you know popping parts off refitting them putting them back it took a lot of work just to get that engine on there straight and the engine comes all the way back here to the flywheel disc and it still wasn't back far enough to meet their exhaust system the front suspension kind of flimsy if you bump it wrong they pop out I mean I, that probably could have been fixed just by gluing it solid so that there was uh, no steering of the wheels but I figured why not you know leave them turn I added the fuel pump I added the spark plug wires fuel line um, detailed the carburetor up a little bit what little bit you could the uh, body is immaculate other than all the way down both sides right here where these holes are and on the inside you'll find that there's some reinforcements for the plastic it has horrible shrink so I had to use filler down both sides all the way across the top from front to back I probably have two or three days just in bodywork alone, which my initial purchase of this kit was not only because it was odd, I was just going to build it box stock, whatever they gave me, put it together just for something to do and get done to try and get back my enjoyment because for a short period of time there I was hitting a slump where I wasn't enjoying this anymore. I was doing this for other reasons than my own pleasure. Um, I was doing it but I wasn't having fun and that's you know that's that's a problem. Secondly these wheels and tires you'll get four let me see if I can get the light over here a little bit better. You'll get four of these wire wheels. There we go. Now you can see what I'm talking about. 
there's four of these wire wheels they come in two halves each and they're really good uh, I have nothing to complain about there the, there's very little flash there to mess with um, the mold lines on it were on the inside of the circle so it wasn't that big of a deal these even have the valve stems molded into them right there um, they go on fairly simple the problem is the tires the tires do not fit these wheels at all I uh, actually shattered the center out of this wheel and had to sit here and put all these wires back together with glue trying to get a tire on this rim and it ended up the only way to get the tires on these wheels once you get them put together paint them you got to leave them set till they're gassed out or you'll leave smudges in the paint or knock it down to semi-gloss by handling it too much once they're uh, gassed out ready to rock and roll on them you got to put these tires in a bowl of hot water and stretch them over quickly and by quickly I mean you don't even take the time to dry them you take them right from the bowl stretch it over the rim and you don't hold the rim here you don't hold the rim here you have to hold the rim right here at the edge or these real fine little uh, wires for the wire wheel there they just they just shatter because they're so thin they're so finely detailed they're they're almost human hair thin and you have to stretch that tire over that wheel while it's still full of water and hot and I mean you have like maybe 30 seconds to get it on there you got to put it back in the bowl let it get hot again I I was very frustrated with that until I figured out how to get them on there I like I said I shattered that one wheel and I fought with it and fought with it until I actually caused the tip of one of my fingers to bleed trying to stretch them by hand and then it finally dawned on me put them in hot water it's rubber it'll it'll give um, windshield bracket was supposed to be chrome I stripped it made it wood grain same with the luggage rack stripped it made it wood grain did the uh, dashboard uh, let me see if I can get it uh, let me see if I can turn this camera a little bit here get a better angle on it Hopefully it'll stay in focus. There we go. There we go. Oh. Nope. Well, anyway, I would grain the dashboard. Uh, the chassis pan is straight the chassis parts are warped you'll have to play with those a bit to get them into the only contact points for these front fenders is right here on this little piece of uh, piece of rod and then right up top here it just barely makes contact on the top of the suspension housing so you have to play with that a little bit to get them lined up all in all if it's something you want to spend a lot of time on do a lot of work it's great kit have fun with it it was not it was not what I thought it was going to be at all it wasn't even close I think the most frustrating part of the entire kit is this engine because for as much detail as there is and everything else and as detailed as these parts are after you get rid of all the flash and regroove the the jugs and stuff the least they could have done was make sure in the molding process and the design process that the big part of the car and the little part of the car actually come together to make the car without making people want to turn it into an airplane and trust me I don't think this thing is going to fly very well but anyway guys there it is uh, I'll be back later this week with a uh, another update probably uh, just give you a little 
quick glance here. This is uh, what I've been working on over the past couple of days, but I had to kind of put it up. I got called into work yesterday anyway. I said I was off, but, you know, what they tell you and what happens is two different things, so. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, this is this was a snap tight kit I picked up for a couple bucks in a uh, thrift store and just kind of playing with it. Oh, there goes the tire. Some Pegasus wheels, a few other little odds and ends here, just a mostly just paint job. But anyway, you guys have a good night. See you later.